Hello and welcome to the video. This is a follow up video to a video that I did a couple of weeks ago. This is on this particular thing here. This is a little DIY head tracker that you can make for about £24, $30 and will fit on any goggle. This one's actually got a little bracket on the back so it fits on the front of my GGI goggles. Now, if you have already looked at the project, uh, what I'm about to explain to you will be nothing new. However, if you haven't yet seen it, there is a way to actually have this on your goggles, powered by a little battery, and then to have something else on your radio. Uh, this is just the lash up that I've done. Um, you can make it look a lot prettier than this, with four solder connections on another little Arduino board connected into your radio, and you can have a completely wireless trainer. Now this of course is great for radios like the Radio Master TX16S, which is what I'm using it with here. However, things like the FreeSky radio that already have the inbuilt ability to have a wireless trainer, you don't even need to use the second Arduino board. But if like me, you like playing around with this stuff and you uh, may be making yourself one of these already and you thought, you know what, I wouldn't mind having a go at how the wireless trainer bit works, I'll explain how I set mine up in this video. The best place for all the information about this, of course, is going to be the wiki for the particular project. Again, I'll put the links down below. A huge thanks to Cliff, the gentleman who is currently developing this. I'm sure we're going to see future updates with even more functionality for this stuff in the coming months. So if you do use this and uh, you're getting a benefit from it, then uh, kick him a couple of bucks just to say thank you to keep his uh, interest in the project. Now, as I've already mentioned, to get this working with any radio, you're going to need a second Arduino 33BLE, and that is going to hear the transmission over Bluetooth from the head tracker, and that's going to then pop it into the trainer port on the radio. So again, you don't have any wire between your goggles and your radio, which makes everything very neat. On your second Arduino, you're going to have to flash it exactly the same way as you did the original head tracker. However, you're not putting the head tracker software on it, you're putting a different version. The version that you want to put on it is the PPM Para Master Firmware. Go for the latest one and flash it onto the board in exactly the same way. You may have to press the little white button in the middle of the board to get it into bootloader mode and then go through this exactly the same process that I showed in the first video. The only other thing you need to do is to make sure that the Bluetooth is turned on on the head tracker itself, the one that's going to be on your goggles, because that's how it's going to transmit the data to the one that is connected into your radio. Once that's done, then there's only four cables that you have to connect to your little newly flashed Arduino that's going to connect into your radio. You need to get hold of the appropriate trainer cable and you need to connect it to the ground and to the signal pin that's actually shown in the wiki. And then the only other thing you need to do is supply it with voltage. But the really cool thing is on the bottom of the Radio Master radios, they incredibly thoughtfully included these two little UARTs uh, which are here and even uh, embossed in the plastic is the way round they are. So this is the way they are. I have to say uh, thank you to Ben at uh, Radio Master for just confirming that to me. Uh, in the testing that I did here also with the Arduino, it's only pulling a fraction of an amp well below the current capacity of those ports. So I've actually powered it directly from the radio, which means I do not need a separate battery to run my wireless head tracker. I just need the one that's going to power it on the goggles. So the way it works is that you power both of the boards when the board that's connected into your radio has a solid blue light, it means it's getting connected and it then just outputs those channels as normal. Pressing the reset button will then reset all the channels to their middle position. So that is how you set it up. It isn't particularly hard at all. If you're going to build yourself one of these head trackers, then you could quite easily increase your order of the Arduino 33 BLE boards to get two of them. And that way you can have a completely wireless head tracker between the goggles and your radio. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.